fuck is this, a family reunion? Yeah. God damn, it's Brooklyn in the house. Yeah. All right, we're going to set this off. Fashion your seatbelts. This shit is definitely real. Now, how many of y'all like sex? Yeah. We're going to talk about sex. Now, check this out just the other day, right? I went to the top floor of the World Trade Center. They got a bar up there. And I see this bitch got more butt than a box of Newports. Woo! Now this shit is definitely real. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now how many of y'all like sex? <laughs> <sighs> Check this out, man. I be having sex sometimes. And this is what you do, man. You, put, you, you, you know how it is, man. You get the girl down there. A hoe. You bend over. Uh -huh. You pull your dick out. What Ooh. you do? You put your dick inside of the pussy. <laughs> 17 minute act out. Uh, God bless y'all. And remember, let's get the guns off the streets. People. Get the guns off the streets. And then Martin Lawrence comes back. On there are 157,000 murders in Chicago yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I got in, caught in a deaf comedy jam. Uh, I don't want to call it a black hole. I want to sound lacist. I don't do not want to sound like a lacist. <laughs> What's the what um, that? It's a Chinese. Is that an it's a Chinese. Chinese guy? It's a Chinese guy saying he doesn't want to sound racist. What's the guy's background? Well, give me a little bit of Is flavor. He Taiwanese. Yeah, yeah, the guy I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. It's a, a Jewish man doing a racist impression of a Chinese. Oh, oh. that's why it's a little off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I see great. it. I see it. That's the thing about. I like it. that. All these, all these damn Jews are so racist. Every single one. Of them. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just I uh, went to DC last week and met a lot of nice fellers. Yeah. And they were saying a lot of the same things about Jews I've been saying <laughs> since I the went black to camp. Is, the black Israelites. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're the original. That's quite Jews. a show, by the way. Uh, I love those guys. Just setting up shop and watching them. Um. So somebody, uh, I had kind of a legal issue going on this week, so I didn't have time to respond to them. Oh, also, just a heads up. I'm getting a lot of like notifications for Facebook messages. If you're messaging me and I'm not responding, I am banned from Facebook. Facebook. I can't <laughs> respond to you. Uh, I have no. I can see the messages, but I can't respond. So I'm not ignoring you. I know a lot of people are probably uh, people sliding your DMs, trying to suck you off on Facebook. Yeah, I don't know. I think you know. I mean, if it's it's it's. I don't want to say Reddit guys, but basically anyone in any online community is fickle. So mm -hmm. you don't respond to them for two days, and they're like, "Actually, you know what? Fuck this guy." Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not ignoring you. I just can't. Uh, <clears throat> I can't respond to anything. Hey, guess what? Fuck you, pieces of shit. Yeah. No, stop. 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 They're gonna, they're gonna no, I don't care. Fickle. I'm the bad boy, dude. Yeah. They're gonna be fickle. I'm the bad boy of the group. I'm like the administrator. Nice. I'm like the chief of medicine here. I don't <laughs> yeah. know what that means. But yeah, like, yeah. I'm house. Who's the guy that runs the hospital? Uh, you're the, the you're the, the you're the, you're the sexy Jewish no chief bitch of medicine with the big is nose. more of a doctor. So what's the it's administrator? A, it's like the you're the bitch with the big nose CEO on house. I'm house. No one watches house, dude. <laughs> and, and Adam no is no one knows uh, what the fuck you're talking Adam about. Adam is uh, I don't know what the the gay character. This is a diagnosis murder household. You're right. So I'm basically, sorry. but I'm, I am house. I'm uh I'm I'm fucking Dick Van Dyke. Okay, you're Scott Bayo who's yeah, written off yeah. the show. But and I'm Adam is the guy that replaced Scott Bayo. Yeah, yeah. Nah, well, but Scott Bayo was so much better than the guy that replaced him. Yeah, and then he went on to do some bullshit show where he's like a, he's like a doctor that's also a poet. I think <laughs> who's Scott <laughs> Scott, Scott Bayo? That's why he left diagnosis really? murderers to do some other shitty daytime to switch it up drama. to switch up the doctor. He was the dumb yeah, doctor. I forget. He was. The name. I forget. You know, I made. I used to run. I think it's still on Twitter. If you go to twitter.com slash Pax Television, I had like a Twitter parody account. Uh, back when I was uh, struggling to find content that hit, <laughs> uh, I had a, where I would just pitch PAX TV shows. <laughs> so I know that there was the one Scott Bayo joke on there, and I can't remember the difference between the Scott Bayo joke show I came up with, <laughs> where he's a doctor that's also a hobbyist beekeeper that moves to the be big city and needs to use his bees to, mm -hmm. you know, um, mm -hmm. cope with the medicine life in the big city. Mm -hmm. The best idea I had on that one was uh, to show called uh, Checking Engine, and uh, Branscombe Richmond plays a Navajo man that uses uh, stereotypes to solve crimes in the old <laughs> Tulsa Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Branscombe Richmond, by the way, plays Billy Six Gun on the show Renegade, oh, starring yeah. Lorenzo Lamas. Yo, that was a good show. That show was badass, dude. I'm trying to watch some Renegade. I liked Lorenzo Lamas. He was, I mean, I, I'm a fan of a lot of uh, 90s action guys. Mm -hmm. You know, your Lamases, your Lundgrens. 
you know, you would put Lamas in the same category yeah. as Lundgren. No, no, Lamas was a TV guy. Lundgren was a movie yeah. guy. You're, you're, I forget the guy who played Adrian on the Highlander TV show. Oh yeah, oh, he yes. was great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Gabrielle or something. Uh, Union. Gabrielle Union. Gabrielle Union. She fucks Dwayne Wade. Um, Dwayne Wade. Well, no, hold on. There was a point. Oh yeah. Also, there was some Dwayne kid. Wade. <laughs> there was some guy. There was some guy. He's like a university. He goes to some school. And he fucking mess- mailed, emailed me questions, but then I had this like legal oh, thing. Oh yeah, the guy. Yeah, who wants to do oh, a school report on us? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was like it basically the que- I, I guess you know maybe I shouldn't just <laughs> blow up. I guess I could respond to them on the podcast. That's easier than typing. <laughs> was it? Yeah, let's do this Montana. Right now. Well, he was like, yeah, questions. I guess I could pull him. He was like, you know, are you worried that people are going to think you're a bigot? And uh, it's like. You know, I am, I guess, right? <laughs> no, no. By pretty, by, you know, the looser modern definition. I don't think anyone would be cool. I don't think cool. you are. It's, I don't think anybody... I don't think substantive, subst- substantively, you're bigoted. I think that you're I run actually... a barely ironic uh, podcast. <laughs> I say racist shit all the time, and I get money from actual Nazis to do it. So, I mean, if oh, I'm not... I don't not, know for sure not, that they're Nazis. If I'm not a bigot, then Steve Bannon isn't a bigot. Nah, dude. We're by the same definition. You're right. We aren't as funny as Breitbart. That is true. Those, those well, are some fucking good Well, Steve ass. Bannon made his money off of the Jewish sitcom Seinfeld. Yeah, that's true. And we are making our money off of the Nazis, so we're the yeah. opposite. Well, I read some <laughs> shitty article Bannon. that was like, he drew inspiration from... Uh, who's who's the filmmaker that made Birth of a Nation? Uh, oh, uh, fucking the... Uh, oh, no, not Birth of a Nation. Triumph of the Will. Uh, Lenny Riefenstahl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, They're like, yeah. which is they show in like every film class. Yeah, she's so to be a, like, she's you know, a genius. Yeah, to be yeah. like, oh, he drew inspiration from a Nazi propaganda. And so and was the guy who made Birds of like a Nation. Filmmaker. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, what's his fucking name? Not Demille. Cecil yeah, it wasn't Demille. Demille. We're idiots, dude. We, we, this is the I'm whole podcast. It was, um, first of all, I don't know if it it's Michael not, Bay. I think yeah. anything. You know, I I used to say I used to say. <laughs> I used to say any movie that's a silent film is bullshit, not worth watching. Hell yeah. yeah. It's too antiquated. And I'm right about that. Yeah. I'm no, sure. there's right. one good one. Watch, no, there's not. There's you, one there's good, not one. good one. Is there one with titties? I don't care what you're going to say. You couldn't even have titties right. back then. There's yes, one. you could. In the pre-code Hollywood, you could have titties. Really? Yeah. It, they were much sluttier back then. Oh, hell yeah. yeah and women played like bigger roles. And then after they uh, introduced like all the, you know, all that code, dumb yeah, all shit. That, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. where like you couldn't even kiss. You like have to a window outside. But no, I used to say. fuck off screen. No silent movies are worth watching. And then I updated. Now it's no movies without color. I, a couple years That's ago. That's fine. I, I buy that. Yeah. So it might and be that, one or two. Now it's if it doesn't have CGI in it, it's bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm if there's no turtles. Because the technology's gotten good enough now. Yeah. You know, I'm not talking about Scorpion King, mm-hmm. you know, Mummy 3. Yeah, that shit sucks. I'm saying, you know, I want it in I, Avatar. is the only good movie. <laughs> <laughs> Avatar is the only not even a good movie because you know it's not a good movie, but it's the only movie worth watching anymore. Oh, weren't he? Wasn't he going to come the, out with like twelve Avatars? I will go avatars. to the theater unless it's for you guys should like know that. this. I'm shopping around for a 4K television, and basically what <laughs> yeah. that is is it's four 1080p televisions mm-hmm. combined into one TV. Mm-hmm. So the that level of resolution means that's four different ways yeah. that I'm better than you. Yeah, <laughs> I just when I watch it. a movie, I'm experiencing it. To a degree that you'll never experience. There are it. no Steven Poor Seagal movies shit. in 4K. Yeah, we well, all just got to check for a thousand dollars. Yeah, a piece we're rich, bitch. I'm it buying a fucking PS4. I'm guys. buying a seven hundred dollar blender. I'm fucking making soups in that bitch because uh, that's how hot they Stav get. Stop actually copied my idea to get the blender. Guess who's gonna buy first, bitch? I got a meaning. I, it's my idea. I got a new TV, guys. Did you? Yeah, it's a 3K TV, um, <laughs> and it only shows. Uh, tr- uh, R- racist R- nice oh yeah okay i got it that was it. pretty good man. <laughs> <It's a> K- <laughs> that was really good adam you were sitting on that when we were talking about 4k then we started talking about what we're gonna buy uh, i'm sorry check i just i couldn't a get topic in there of discussion i couldn't get yeah. in there and you thought this 3k joke is so good i thought i'm gonna was- save it for after a whole nother topic has been introduced. Well, it was, it's, it was fast. It was fast moving, you know, yeah. and it was just one topic. Next well, maybe topic. If you, I, I if couldn't really feeling the flow of the conversation instead of being pleased with yourself. Because well, I just thought that if joke. I brought back the three K joke, that it would be a funny enough joke to disrupt. So what else are you gonna buy? With you your know, stuff? when I was a kid, I oh, I thought uh, sorry, I thought. 
I get anxiety when people bring up the clan because as a kid I thought it was Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, yeah, and me too. Like, wait, what do you mean? Well, hold on. And so, so I said that to somebody one time, and they laughed at me in like fourth grade for saying Ku Klux Klan. And uh, and then that's why I that's like I guess so whenever the clan comes up I get nervous. It's not clue, and it's because it's I, coup. It's coup, and uh, and it's because like I I fucked it up one time. <laughs> but I used to think it was so like the thing chickens. that makes you nervous about the KKK is the pronunciation. Yeah, it's not that their existence, and you're just like yeah, no, <laughs> it's, that's that's my privilege is that I get nervous. About, you're nervous I'm embarrassed about, about a conversation. Pronouncing it wrong, not yeah. them like fucking doing hate crimes to yeah. your family. Well, it doesn't affect me. Yeah. Well, no, it does affect you. Apparently, How Nick so? Nick can't handle anti-Semitism. I thought it was Ku Klux. Oh as well. yeah, I had to get off Twitter. Nick quit Twitter because of all the anti-Semitism. And you know what? I support you as yeah. an ally. You know. He's also wearing a yellow star in solidarity with me <laughs> for the month. And I, I think that's great. I yeah. really I support Well, we I do got, make well, you wear a yellow is, star. In, in, well, in, I, I have to. In true, <laughs> punk How rock, else you know? <laughs> true punk rock tradition, I got a giant swastika tattooed on my chest. Yeah. And a little arrow underneath it that says, uh, bad. <laughs> then, no, get out of here, swastika. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Underneath. So people know. Fuck, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People know that I'm against the swastika. That's fucking tight. As yeah, it's yeah. cool. It's uh, yeah, anti fascism I, I like being that anti-fascist dude anti-fascism I love putting pins on my leather jacket at. oh dude also. yeah did you guys see that pin that was like ten thousand dollars like yeah, Swarovski awesome. crystals and shit it was a safety pin <laughs> so funny uh, I, I just mean I like putting like G.G. Allen pins you know mm -hmm. like I'm a cool guy Mm, I love G that's G real G music man real music is when you just get up there and you take a dump on the stage and you <laughs> have you seen the documentary you know? <laughs> and then you show everyone your dick and then you smear the shit all over your face that's you real talk about that's fucking real music. kids and you eat the poo <laughs> and then you eat the shit and you eat and, the poo poo and uh that's like you know that's the kind of shit you miss out on with your fucking mp3s <laughs> and your cds you know that's like right. real vinyl who is it's visceral the, it's immediate you know yeah. you're like seeing the man poop on stage you're mm -hmm. smelling the poop on uh -huh. stage you know, you're seeing him eat it. Yeah. It's, it's something more. It's punk rock. You know, it's, it's like. And there's always some punk poser. Then there's always some poser <laughs> wearing rock. wearing the shit from that show to the show instead oh, of shit yeah, from an older dude. Fucking poser. You gotta wear last year's the, <laughs> sh the shit he left. He on went to the merch table. Can't wear show. shit from the same guy who he shit just walked in. Show. No. He walked in. Got, went to the merch <laughs> table. Right. Bought a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, no, you gotta have three elevens shit. Yeah, exactly. Have a big turd. Not even the same genre of music. Who the fuck went to a GG? Concert. <laughs> you saw that documentary, right? Found out what that was like and was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. hell yes. <laughs> That's what I want to fucking. Some guy screaming, he's going to smell horrible. The guy that he made, might rape my mouth while I'm yeah. while he's fucking. It's also like you can get that for free in New York City everywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just take the train. Yeah. 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 That's what the train is. <laughs> Dude, people. Is it like the only people I knew that were like liked Gigi Allen were just like fucking try hard. 13 year olds right yeah, there's how it still is were there were there any grown men at those shows were there grown people no it's 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 music for 11 year old to say kids. that you're cool to say to have mm -hmm. zero imagination that are mad that their dads <laughs> haven't come back yeah that's so why i'm glad i never liked bukowski i feel I, there was a whole period where people eh. were getting into bukowski and i'm like you realize this is trash right it's garbage this is yeah. really bad he's bad at jake writing. liked bukowski <laughs> joe well jake is a man that of uh of many tastes. Yeah. Well, no, it's one taste. He likes Bukowski. Bukowski. Yeah. What do you have to say about that, Adam? I think it's cool if he's into that, but I think that I don't. I agree with Nick's take because Nick is my boss. Nick ain't my boss, dude. I'm a fucking independent contractor. I'll do whatever the fuck. Yeah, I you guys want. are independent contractors. I'm not necessarily your boss. No, you're my, you're my boss, Chief. Skip. That means that means if Listen, one of Skip. you individually gets sued for something that happens on the show, I don't have to help you out. No. Well, if I get, <laughs> if I what get, are the odds that someone gets sued for something on the show and it's not you? If I get injured, why would I get sued? I've never said anything bad about anybody. <laughs> if I get injured on the show, I which said I'm true things. On. Was Jake gonna sue me for saying you like Bukowski? It's fucking true. No, I'm not talking about that. If I get injured on the show, I'm going to file for yeah, Jake workers' doesn't comp. Can we do workman's comp? No. Yeah. That's, you don't understand. No, you, fucking Nick, independent you I have to do it if I get dude. hurt doing Cub Town. What if I just fucking... Stop it! Slap Ow. Adam's bitch ass. Ow. Stop! <laughs> Ow! That's a, that's a work-related Yeah, what if injury? I hit him? Then shouldn't you be accountable? What part of independent contractor don't you understand? <laughs> if you're employees, yes, actually, because of uh, uh, respondent superior. Mm -hmm. Well, well let me be vice president. That, which means that anything that happens, even something like that, 
in the course of normal day to day mm-hmm. business, I would I would be responsible for it. I'm now, report, after yeah. that, I could you know go and sue you. I could also sue him because you colluded to make it happen. <laughs> it wasn't a collusion. <laughs> yeah, you pose it as a hypothetical. If you know, first of all, I have already I have nine lawyers, <laughs> and everything I say, yeah, everything I say, they go lobby and make it into law. Oh wow! Holy Whoa. shit. I didn't that, know that. That's, that's fucked up. Dude. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's juice. That's yeah. real juice. That's power. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's power. Um, I, so we're going to become Wall Street guys. We have been wearing Trump suspenders ever since we got these one thousand dollar checks. Yeah, today. dude, I'm on. I'm in hair club for men now. I I'm just wearing, have slick yeah, I'm back wearing hair. suspenders attached to my oversized basketball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is such a bad look. I have a French cuff <laughs> shirt. You know, stripey. You do have tie dye socks though, bitch. Don't tell the listener. <laughs> <laughs> That's some straight Jewish summer camp socks right there, my dude. Oh, hell yeah. These socks will listen to fish, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Guster. <laughs> um, so what's going on this week? I guess, you know. Thanksgiving, bitch. Yeah, Thanksgiving. I can't so, wait. Uh, I, I don't guess give a fuck. Uh, for, in honor of Thanksgiving, we have a couple of... Uh, uh, fun little facts, maybe stuff you didn't Thanksgiving know facts. about I think Thanksgiving. We've been prepping this bit, so <laughs> I think it's re- uh, it's ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been in the oven. It's been roasting. Yeah, like a turkey. Like almost. a turkey. Yeah, that's like a good. big uh, turkey. So that's uh, pretty good. That's pretty funny. Adam, do you want to start? Oh, um, <laughs> I have one. Hold on. That doesn't pick Stop. up. Stop. Why? <laughs> that, he <laughs> does that every episode where he farts in the fucking funny. mic. It just doesn't you know register. The fart gets trapped in the wind guard. Dude, I bet it registers, honestly. It doesn't. I'm the guy that fucking listens every to Every once in a while, one scene. of them goes through. No. Uh, that wasn't a good one, but that, anyway. They're never good. It's also, never. you should do better farts. As a I'm fat, trying, man. As a fat, I have not been eating farts. that bad, by the way. So Yeah, you do very small, lame, like French girl type I've farts. I've been trying to eat better, that's why. Yeah, you're a fraud. You basically. should do some thunderous kind of I've been wet. wearing a fat suit. I'm sexy as shit, yeah. actually. You're dead sexy. Dude, I'm so fucking I wish hot. fat suits would come back. Hopefully in the Trump administration. Absolutely. That's Hollywood. all comedy. Honestly, you know, people are like, oh, this is going to be good for comedy. It's like, yeah, it's going to be good for comedy if comedy goes back to being racist and dumb. <laughs> because that's good comedy. You know, I, I mean, seriously. People are like, oh, wow, Adventure Time. It's actually got a lot of jokes for adults. And no, it's, no it's for babies. You know what had a lot of jokes for adults? Fucking Daffy Duck when he was using the N-word. <laughs> Those are jokes for adults. You want to talk about children's entertainment? It's meant for a grown man. How about how about Porky the Pig calling somebody a Jap and sho- shoving bamboo under his fingernails? That's a joke for an adult. You're dead, Jap. Those are good. Those are good adult-oriented children's cartoons. Yeah. Cole Black and the Seven Dwarves. That is. You expect a child to understand the jokes printed on the back of that Murder Incorporated truck? Well, it's very nuanced and adult. Oh fuck the Seven Dwarves. That shit is so terrible. The prince's teeth are made out of gold, and they've got like dice markings on them. Well, gold—that's an expensive. Yeah, children don't understand that. It's expensive. They don't know. They don't know about any of that stuff. Yeah, Yeah. that's true. Well, children are fucking stupid as shit. Yeah, you're right. I still think we should make that cool Sultan sketch. That would be a good sketch. (laughs) With all this money, I had another idea for a fucking sketch the other day. I can't. Oh yeah, it's like a. uh, so it's like a dog fight, you know? Oh, yeah. I love that. So it's in like yeah. a, a warehouse. Real, we can use real, my dog. Real tough urban setting. Yeah, mm-hmm. very urban and setting. And it's all these dudes that are like, yeah, and then I'm, you know, we'll write the N-word into it. There'll be a lot of guys <laughs> like saying, yeah, you know. Uh, like Scorsese. I'm, I'm gonna say, or like I'm going to say my man Tarantino. right now. But you know what I mean when I'm saying. It's like, yeah, my man, let me get, let me put, you know, so they're setting up the dog fight. They got the dogs in the pit, and they're like, yeah, yeah. you ready to do this shit, my man? You ready to do this? You know, so this is like the UPN 20 version of the sketch. You know, like, so they got the dogs there, and then there's a guy with like a boom box, and he hits play on the boom box. Yeah. But then, you know, the audio is like, obviously coming from the boom box. It's not, you know, overlaid the the shot. And then out of the boom box, they're all listening to like, in the arms of the angel. Like, that's their favorite shit at the dog fight yeah yeah like yeah that's the song they the listen to the one from the commercial They're like yeah yeah that's my shit my man <laughs> <laughs> yeah my man my man my man yeah um that's the sketch idea do you that's think really like good, tarantino like he's like you at his my keyboard man. <laughs> <laughs> my man please 
Is it Taren- this neighbor has a lot of my mans running around. Oh, guys, stop it. <laughs> So to answer the question, uh, yes, the show is bigoted. It is ironic, but you know what does it matter? Because it's a slippery slope. Irony. Look, uh, you know, look. That's why I had to leave Twitter. Van Coulter's going to openly defend the American Nazi Party. Yeah, that's tough. There's no room for guys like me anymore. At least online. Relegated to the world of podcasts, where there's still a little bit of nuance left. Yeah, you know? this yeah. is nuance. This is show. nuance, dude. That's <laughs> what that's what I was I was uh, thinking. I would break my heart if yeah, my daughter did. ever brought on my man home. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's a guy out there that's like, you know, a, a guy that's like, I don't care if you're gay, you're my son, I love you, but don't you ever bring a, a Mexican guy. man, <laughs> yeah. yes, a gay for sure. Mexican. Yeah. I you think can so. be gay. In For fact, sure. I'm glad you're gay. Yeah. The Bible actually says it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> People read it wrong. It's like that for gay Jews, where they're like, where they're like, you. It's better to as bring long home as home. you as long as you bring hope into the Jew. Which book? Which book actually says that it's wrong to be gay? Leviticus. Yeah, it's the same uh, one where it's like you can't wear, sh- you can't fucking eat shellfish. It was my, or- it was my bar mitzvah portion, actually. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> your parents chose it. No, that was just <laughs> around just my to birthday. Send you a message, like, just in case. <laughs> yeah. You have to make sure he's not a. Uh- <laughs> They're a little like, suspicious. <laughs> I'd like read it like the- now, Adam. Read this very carefully. Yeah. <laughs> my dad, crocodile. Yeah. <laughs> No, I die, mate. <laughs> I'm from South Africa. <laughs> yeah. I'm Adam's gay dad. Blooming onion, governor. Cheerio, oh, tip nanny. top. Put another boffet on the lorry. <laughs> I'm gonna suck off a kangaroo. I am. That's not how a South African sound. I can do a South African accent if you want. No, Adam's gay. Adam, my son is gay. We want to do our version of the South African accent. We don't want to hear. I have version. a gay son named Adam. He's gay. <laughs> Oh, he's gay because I ate too many crumpets <laughs> while I was pregnant. While I was snogging his mom. <laughs> well, in, in South Africa, the man gets pregnant because he's got a pouch. Like I a could fucking roux. <laughs> I could show you guys a South African And then he sucks you it. You know what he does is he puts a kangaroo's, <sighs> kangaroo's tail up his ass and then the t- kangaroo nuts And he sucks off a wallaby? <laughs> Yeah, My fucking, son Adam's fucking gay. Country, dude. I, you know, it's I'll okay for us you. to say that because South Africa's racist. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is that's a, us doing freedom fighting. There's yeah. a story my dad used fucking to... Fucking white down ass. Down with fucking... Uh, white ass uh, South Africa. There's a story my oh, dad used called? to tell me when I was a kid. What's called? Apartheid. Yeah. Down with that shit. There's a story my dad used to tell me when I was a kid. And um, was he like, Adam? <laughs> he sat me down and he said... Uh, there was a lion <laughs> and a great warrior. Great. That's pretty good. Yeah. Scottish. Not. That's pretty good Scottish. No. Scottish accent. Right. Unlike our spot like on that. South African accents. Wait, what were we talking about before we started Thanksgiving about irony? No. Oh, yeah. Getting head. Uh, <laughs> South Africa's pretty <laughs> stupid. It's a beautiful They've country. They've been making so many shitty movies. Is that guy? District Nine. It's just that one guy. Chappy. Yeah, he like got away Chappie with making a fat movie. Dick. No, District Chappie's kind of tight. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not bad. It. I watched yeah, it. Bad. I watched it no, recently. It's, it's not bad. It's bad. <laughs> so, District Nine was pretty good. District Nine wasn't that good, and people thought it was good. And then he's like, "What if I made an even shittier movie?" No, he's like, then, "What? What if?" Uh, he's like, uh, "Okay, first of all." Uh, we're going to have robots, right? <laughs> okay. No, there's not the middle one but is a the robots. The robots, <laughs> robots. Like, represent the blacks, <laughs> the bleaks, and then everyone else represents the whites. And it's really about apartheid. It's not. It's like y'all. Yeah, it's like. Uh, is that Chappy or is that? Dish- Isn't that like District Nine? Now that's that's what District Nine is. That's what Elysium is. Elysium is the one where it's all about a Matt, Damon. Matt Damon, who who like uh, he doesn't he he like has some bullshit accent or he speaks Spanish or something. He doesn't know. speak Spanish or he's the one guy raising the barrio. That, that, oh, yeah, know. there's like but a barrio. Sucks. There's a bunch of fucking Spanish people. The movie sucks. Dude. Elysium sucks. <laughs> Chappie sucks. Okay, well, sorry, dude. It's not my <laughs> fault. I don't I don't know that guy Neil Blumkampf. I'm mad because we were talking about something and then we got sidetracked. Thanksgiving, irony, and Coulter, Nazis. Oh, yeah, the Ann Coulter thing. Yeah, that's fucked up, dude. Yeah, that is fucking weird. She's just outright defending Nazis now. I'm shocked. I oh. am. I, I would think she I would be that kind of dumb. Am. Yeah. You know? She's, she's it's legitimately scary that Nazis are just like. She's just a troll, right? That pundits. No. 
People say that all the time. They, like whenever they're confronted with somebody that you know is just has these ridiculous beliefs, they go, yeah. "Oh, they're a troll," which is the case with maybe two or three people. She knows how to piss people off, though. Sure, but she believes it. Oh, sure. If her beliefs just piss people off, why wouldn't she, anyways? There are plenty of bigoted idiots that don't know how to piss off a ton of people, and she is not one of them. Yeah, I, I don't understand the motivation be- behind saying, "Oh, well, they're just a troll" or whatever. I think that's like I'm not saying that I'm not I'm not saying that as an excuse. Yeah. I'm not I'm not saying that. She, she, oh, but there it, is it this like narrative of these people, of, these people that assault. like like just have regular beliefs, but put on this fucking you know facade. Like people think that about I Bill guess, O'Reilly, Glenn Beck, Bill O'Reilly, all these types that's of motherfuckers. Uh, and I guess I sort of did think that about Ann Coulter. Well, Glenn Beck and Bill O'Reilly it makes more sense because they're like former radio guys. Right, right, right. Glenn yeah, Beck he, more so. Bill O'Reilly yeah, was Glenn like Beck's entertainment got that little hat and shit now. Yeah. <laughs> he's got the little hat and that scarf. Oh yeah, he looks terrible woke. in that picture. <laughs> He looks so funny. Oh, oh yeah, no, now he's, bl- he's Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Wild Wild yeah. West. Yeah. Yeah. Wild Wild Kanye West. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like uh he's like Westworld now. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he goes to get his dick sucked by fucking bar maidens in Westworld. Yeah. Yeah. Well he goes he goes Which, to by Westworld. The way, he goes to Westworld to suck Thomas Jefferson's dick. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking watched one episode of Westworld when I was high and is the the point of that thing, these people pay money to have these, like, fantasy experiences. Yeah. And then yeah. just, like, a lot of them are just rape. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, yeah, like, and murder. That just rapes people? Yeah. What the fuck is that? But I don't How understand is that why it has to be the Wild West. <laughs> why would, <laughs> why would not, rape be, like, not, a destination thing? It's not rape, thing. but they're having sex with prostitutes in the Wild West. No, that guy, like, rapes But it's people. also, like, there's you no way in the future world the they wouldn't just have prostitutes. <laughs> right, right, Like, right, I don't understand right, right. why you would go with your family to the Wild West, and yeah. then you'd be like, uh, honey, uh, <laughs> you and the boys have fun. I'm gonna go have sex with this extremely realistic robot. That has its own personality needs to be wiped at night. <laughs> like it's no, it's not cheating because uh, yeah, you know, it's like, like, it's like, it's like they up. made. It's like if Jurassic, if you're gonna rape dinosaurs in Jurassic Park, like that, that's essentially what this is. That's what happened. That's crazy. Why would you? What? That, I can't believe that's the fucking. It's because human beings actually have a dark nature. Oh man, and that's uh, mm-hmm. that's that's how you know the show is smart. That's pretty good, man. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like Black meat. Mirror. It's for smart people. I actively hate Westworld, but I, for some reason... I watched three episodes of it. I didn't want to watch it. I watched 10 minutes of the first episode, and I was like, yeah, this is a bad show. Yeah. And and I've kind of been... It just costs so much money that I feel like I have to watch it. I don't (laughs) know why. It's stupid. I don't know why. That's dumb as hell. I I was watching Sopranos again. I love I'm it. back in. I had never technically finished The Sopranos. <gasps> I know. Yo, You're we fucking got some idiot, work to dude. do. I know. No, I'm, I'm plugging away, dude. That's what I'm doing over Thanksgiving. I'm just fucking eating a steak by myself. Dun, and uh, dun, dun, na, 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 and uh, na, na, watching The Sopranos. Um, um, guys, so Thanksgiving facts. That's what I was trying oh, to do. Right, oh, right, right, yeah. Right, right, right. I, well, I didn't I didn't sidetrack us on that one. That yeah, was someone else. No, I said, Adam, what's your Thanksgiving fact? And then Stop said that something. That was our homework for this week. We're rich now. We have to prepare for this podcast. Absolutely. Okay. We have to start writing bits in advance like all the other good podcasts do. Mm. <laughs> you, think, you think Mark Marin just lets his show happen? He's like, nah, what am I? How am I going to act like a cunt He this writes week? all that. <laughs> this is a character I'm doing. An yeah, yeah. He's actually a really nice guy. <clears throat> yeah. But that's his character. He is. He's an angel. So Thanksgiving <laughs> is basically the holiday. And he hates going to the fucking post office. Where, where uh, <laughs> Christopher Columbus uh, met with the Indians. That's right. Not an Italian American, Christopher Columbus. Right. And he said, We're gonna have a lunch. We're gonna have a big old fucking meal. Yeah. And uh and then that's They had how, macaroni. They had how, gravy. That's how we're gonna make peace. They had a lot of gravy. Yeah. They had some gravy. Very good gravy. Some macaroni. And then what happened was he because of his flashy uh style, his mm-hmm. flashy but very uh accessible style. Italian style. All the squaws wanted to fuck him. And the chief got mad. What are squaws? That's a type of Indian? I think that's a woman. That's I think a, it's like a group of friends. I thought that was like a woman Indian. Squad! A squaw. Squaw! Squaw goals? Squaw goals. Squaw goals! <laughs> um, and then the Indians got mad and tried to fight him. Well, what are the types and of And then Indians? he had to have it's, a genocide. It's, it's Apache, Dothead. Mm-hmm. Savage. Uh, savage. <laughs> uh, Muslim. Uh, red, red Indian. Sikh. Sikh, yeah. Turban well, Sikh style. Is, Sikh is actually, that. that's like the SS. Mm-hmm. If Muslims are Nazis, <laughs> if Muslims are Germans, 
Then the Sikhs are like the SS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're the, like uh, the Schutzstaffel mm-hmm. of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're That's like, why, you know, people are like, oh, these Sikhs are being attacked after 9-11. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like... They had too much pride to do nine eleven. It's not you know they weren't mm. responsible for it because because they thought they were too good for it. Don't they yeah, have it's swords? a cowardly way to die. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If if the Sikhs could have found a way to chop down the towers, I'm sure they would have, and that justifies it in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Nick is just a troll. <laughs> <laughs> no, he believes all this stuff. No, he doesn't. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, you know what? I and I probably brought it up before, but Tomahawk? like, where the fuck is what happened to those turbans that had the jewel and the feather? I know. On? That was tough. Yeah, I, I, mm-hmm. I could, I could fix uh, Muslim American relations with the general mm-hmm. public in fucking twenty minutes mm-hmm. if you just let me sit these people down <laughs> and just say to them once and for all. Bring back the jewel feather <laughs> turban. Wear it. Muslims even Put have it on. Muslims don't just wear fucking, I don't think we'll, they have turbans. We'll pay for it. Just I don't care. Start wearing them. That's what people want. They do want that. You make a that deal with funny. the police. You put a camera in the jewel. One gold tooth. Yep. Yeah. The NSA will pay for the cameras. <laughs> the Muslims become the police body cams. Mm. They get the cool. Everyone thinks they're Aladdin's dad-in-law, J- the J- Jasmine's dad, <laughs> the good guy. Because right now, I'm telling you, you're Jafar. Yes. Most the people he had that a voted for with Trump, the thing too. He though. did not have a jewel. A I feather. think he did. I think he had a red jewel. No. He was also. Kind of, he, had a uh, hat. he was kind of fruity. That's true. That is, but Who, didn't Jafar? he want to fuck Jafar? He wanted to fuck all the Jasmine. bad guys were gay. Yeah, uh, yeah but Jafar, mean, but yeah. J- Jafar was sort of, Jafar right, was a sort of an Omar Mateen character. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you think about it, yeah, yeah. He, he was like a closeted. Omar sucks. He used radical. to just like go to the gay clubs and be like, I hate it here. Uh, I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's so I happy. I don't I want to have sex with anybody here. It's my Jafar. Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad, right? Yeah. Iago, let me they're suck supposed, your parrot They're supposed parrot to be cock. Muslim in Aladdin, right? I don't know. They're just supposed to be Arabian. Arabian, yeah. Well, but didn't Jafar want to fuck Jasmine? Yeah. No, he he only wanted to marry Jasmine so he could For have the like power. ascendancy. Power. Yeah. But didn't he have like a weird, creepy wanting to fuck her, fucking eat her? That's not creepy. She was hot. Why she was. Not what if he's f- gay? She was the hottest girl. For sure. Well, out yeah, of any sure. Disney girl. Who would, mm, she was fire, dude. And Ariel she was had, hot as shit. She had ass too. She, she had, had that ass. I, I, I'm actually only attracted to the POC Disney princesses. <laughs> in case anyone's listening and keeping score in terms of the things I've said, Chuck a, a big fat. That's like a hundred points in the good guy category. Yeah. yeah. In real life. Just yeah. white women. I actually only wanted to fuck Sebastian, the Jamaican mm-hmm. lobster. <laughs> from the, I wanted to have. That's huge, man. That's trans species. That's <laughs> yeah, black. Yeah, yeah. I, wanna I fuck, wanted him to use um, his pinchers on my balls. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, put his claw in my Ooh. ass. Puts his tail in your ass yeah. while he pinches your balls. <laughs> yeah. The oh, Jamaican. No, <laughs> yeah. uh, I want to fuck uh, Mulan when she's dressed Ooh. as a man. Yeah. <laughs> I want to put the tea kettle. Uh, I want to fuck the tea kettle. Warm up that. From yeah, I want to put the tea kettle. kettle. Yeah. I want the candle. The, the candle in my ass. That French candle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that French candle in my ass. <laughs> hey, I what don't know about this one. <laughs> what is going on in here? That has to be the gayest word, <laughs> candelabra. Yeah. That's the gayest word. Yeah, I well, there is no Liberace way. documentary. Yeah, for sure. That's that. That wasn't bad. Scott, Yo, I didn't see it. Scott. that candle definitely went in people's asses. <laughs> that guy yeah. was definitely a gay candle. Yeah. Gaston was <laughs> gay. Gaston was, was hella gay. You think no, Gaston, Gaston no. was the only straight character in Beauty and the Beast? What are you talking about? The Beast was gay. <laughs> they were all gay except Gaston. Gaston's the only guy that's straight. Gaston's assistant, LeFou. <laughs> Holy shit! Wanted dude. to what suck a, off Gaston so what bad. What a queer. <laughs> My favorite thing about Beauty and the Beast is that that like, you know, first of all, Belle is a piece of shit. That character sucks. She's just like the only person in town that knows how to read, and she's like, I'm she's better than cunt. everyone here. <laughs> yeah, everyone. Yeah. He's a fuck. Her dad works hard, like a, you know, he's got a job making shit. Sure, yeah, the yeah. shit he makes sucks, but she's like, no, I'm just gonna read all. Yeah, day. all his adventures did suck dick. Yeah, she fucking didn't do shit. She sucked, and then everyone in the town is just like, you know, like no one's like, didn't we have a, a prince at one point? Yeah, wasn't there some kind of government here that like oversaw everything? The prince has just been missing for years. He's a man in the woods that no one checks in on I think we talked about this yeah we might have 
But who else would you fuck though? <sighs> Sleeping Beauty, Jasmine, dude, she's so fire. Yeah, Jasmine is the hottest she's one. She's so fire. She had to ass. Were there any women and dwarves? She had the Why weren't there any women dwarves? On um, what? In Sleeping Beauty and the Beast? Or no, it's no, the old man. The other one. No, they all. They all. There were seven dwarves. I love going oh, to Maleficent to, probably you could, she was fucking I love up. going to Deviant Art accounts where the seven dwarves are doing gang oh the best shit on <laughs> yeah that Run. shit is great the best they're shit all on just <laughs> fucking with their little but thick ass midget dicks no the best shit on Deviant dicks. Art is uh, is train sonas is <laughs> autistic it. people that draw themselves as trains oh, oh yeah so they oh, have yes. like you know so it'll be like a Tom, hell yeah. it'll be like a colored pencil drawing of like a Thomas oh. the Tank Engine character but then it'll have those like the shitty rectangular lens crafters glasses on the on the train. Just no emotion on the train's face. <laughs> like this is my train sona, Eric. <laughs> it's a diesel train uh, sona. Yeah, which a stupid name sense. persona, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a train. Yeah. Damn, that's some good shit. I also Tusona. oh Arthur Chu got divorced. Oh, that's funny as she, shit. She left him. Yeah, she. What divorced. did she look good? His wa- I mean, better than Arthur should be able to do. Yeah, well, that's true. Was it right after Arthur that should Jeopardy really money? only fuck people that look identical to Arthur. <laughs> There's no lateral. I have shift. seen. There's no so lateral many women shift that look looking, like him. looking like that. You, you know, hear, you hear. You can't be like, oh, well, his wife's ugly, but in a different way. Like that's peak ugly is Arthur. Yeah, that is true. You want to hear? Arthur fun- looks like the brain bug from the end of Starship Troopers. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude. My my cousin. This is funny, kind of. Ri- Race, racist thing. Uh, my cousin. Oh, well, we don't want to hear, it, man. Is dating a Chinese guy, and she did. Uh, it, so Snapchat. runs your family. She she did Snapchat face swap with uh, his grandparents, like these two little old Chinese people. She's and they look exactly the same <laughs> <laughs> as without the face swap. Yeah. <laughs> a- old Asian people. It's like yeah, yeah. completely. It's really changing. cute. You think that's why communism worked in that country is because they all look exactly the same? Yeah, you just replace one. One goes out. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, because even the Chinese people, they have to... <laughs> they have on. to be like, come <laughs> on. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, there's like with white people, they all came from like, a, 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 at some point, all extremely racist countries that insisted on inbreeding for, yep. you know, thousands of years. <laughs> so yeah. that's what you do have some kind so of... So we're like, all cocker spaniels and yeah, English exactly. bulldogs. Yeah, exactly. There's different like breeds of white people. But with China, it's like, I mean, come on. There's like four <laughs> people that live there. No. It's like the Sims, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Not, dude. It's, it's like the, China is an entire country built on like say- create a wrestler <laughs> presets. <laughs> There's one guy that's like an asshole with like tie dye sweatpants and a parrot on his head. I think like they- juggalo makeup. <laughs> I think they all look really different. Personally. I think there's at least twelve types. There's like the Yao Ming. There's the Jackie Chan. Mm-hmm. There's sexy bitches. There's different flavors of sexy bitches. You know, the ones with big titties. Ones with that are tall but trim, so that's like two people right there. Thoughts? Um, you know, I think that probably if you live in China, it's probably easier to differentiate between different people that you you live with. I don't know, guys. If we have any uh, uh, Chinese nationalists that listen to the show, uh, just call in. Go ahead yeah. and call in. Let us know whether or not. And I know this is like definitely. Uh, an extremely stale inquiry. <laughs> oh yeah, probably dating back thirty years, but it hasn't been resolved. Yeah. We're doing like I'm a concerned. we're doing I'm like a doing David this. Brenner bit right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, yeah. I'm not Have you ever watched David Brenner? There's just no answer. Oh, I'm getting a call right now. Cool. This better be good, dude. This better be a, a fucking hilarious thing you have to say if you're going to do a phone act out. <laughs> What is it? They Adam, hung, go they through up. with it. They hung up. Dude. Who hung up? Oh, they hung up? The Chinese national that was calling me. All right, Thanksgiving <laughs> facts. So, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Yeah. Yes. The, these are all... Do you all... know it's originally the Nina, the penis, and the Santa Maria? <laughs> <laughs> I do now. I saved it? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. It yeah. was Nina, Latina, Rita, <laughs> Shalandra, <laughs> Freakly. It was a Petey Pablo, <laughs> yeah. There was a fourth ship <laughs> called the Freakly. <laughs> the Freakly, <laughs> yeah. Petey Hell Pablo. Yeah. Was the original uh, uh, settler of Catan <laughs> came over from Europe for spices? How fucking funny is that? That like 
all of the problems uh, the, uh, as far as racism goes. Because the food was too bland. Yeah, is because somebody was like, I'm trying to put some hot sauce <laughs> on my damn bread. <laughs> That's how Europeans actually talk back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you, I learned this That's from the black true. Israelites, uh, uh, medieval Europe, all black men. It was. That's right. It was all Just Arthur. the kings. Yeah. Everyone else was white. Yeah, All the subjects white. were white. <laughs> and the queens. And the kings and queens. Dude, I fucking yeah. love them so much. I, know. I wish I could participate. I would fucking love to be a part of that. <laughs> Just dress up in their stupid <laughs> costumes. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Just King screaming Arthur? at people, Yeah, King dude. Arthur. Oh, he was black. <laughs> King Merlin, Arthur was black. Merlin was black. Merlin was black. Yeah. Like, yeah, none of those people were real. You know how <laughs> you, spare, you spell them? They said they weren't. To take him away from us. You know how you spell Merlin? Uh, M A M A R Y L A N D. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Very nice. Balmer Merlin. <clears throat> um, yeah. What are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? I was gonna roll with you, but I just found out that you're not going home till Friday. Yeah. So I what the fuck that. is that? But Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Yeah, but. So you're not going... What the fuck is the point of going back on Friday? Well, my some of my family's not even going to be there till Friday, so I just... I don't even give you a You having Greek about. Thanksgiving? No, we don't really give a fuck about things. Greek people don't really care about Thanksgiving. So That's I'm just, just going to go... This is why Ann Coulter's right. That's why you should go back. I'm going, I'm going yeah. Friday. I'm gonna South Greek South. people don't care about Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's <laughs> why we need to kick them out. This isn't yep. a women's shelter. It's yep. a country. <laughs> yep. Yep. I went to Starbucks today and had them write Thanksgiving on my cup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is just pretending they have a problem with it. You have your <laughs> gun in the selfie video yeah. you're taking. I want you to watch this, YouTube. I'm going into Starbucks now, and I'm having them ride uh, Kwanzaa, Christmas, Hanukkah, Thanksgiving, uh, Arbor Day, Memorial, every holiday I can on the cup. If they run out of space, I am discharging my weapon directly I'm in the face of the ethnic barista that's paid too much money. <laughs> <laughs> That's how is that? That's like that the last so battleground awesome. of America. Why are they so mad at Starbucks? Is fucking lattes. I'll, I'll tell you why. Because if you if you drive cross country, you go to some of these shitty ass towns in the middle of nowhere. The only thing they have the, is a Starbucks. That's like the most cosmopolitan place they have. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. That is New York. That's the beacon liberalism. of liberalism. Yeah. You yeah. walk in there, it's like a fucking Woody Allen to these Woody <laughs> Allen movie to these people. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. Every year it's fucking something. Well, they were just writing Trump. <laughs> that shit is so good. Yeah, the, what a fucking they won't, protest. They, 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 won't, they won't write Trump. I'm going to I'm I'm give these motherfuckers yeah. $12. Uh, my name is Swastika. <laughs> <laughs> you got to write it on there. That's the rule. <laughs> yeah, like that's even a law or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's in the people, fucking Constitution. The same people that like insist on misgendering people. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I am fucking saying Bruce. They're like, they wrote my name wrong on the cup. <laughs> on my double shot red eye, flat white, <laughs> that I had to have mine special. <laughs> and they wouldn't do it. <clears throat> so now that you're not rolling, what are you doing? How about you, Adam? We're having a Thanksgiving in my apartment. Ooh. I don't have to go to, back to Las Vegas. No Vegas, dude? Your no. parents are immigrants, too. My parents are immigrants, but they uh, they embrace they a lot of They assimilated like bitches. Shit. Unlike my dad, who hates America, he doesn't like like uh, basketball or he anything. He hates everything, dude. Really? He hates it all. If you we didn't were even brown, take the language, fuck no, you couldn't even really speak to him. Well, he, my parents were English speaking immigrants, right. so we had a little bit easier. My dad got kicked out of his uh, citizenship exam. Did he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they, they, like, this is a bullshit. Li literally, yes. He was like, because he couldn't spell things right, <laughs> and they were marking him wrong. And he was like, I don't want to be a fucking citizen anyway. <laughs> literally, he did just like that fucking. He got kicked out. He got tossed, and he never went back. So wait, he's <clears> just <throat> overstaying his visa now. I think he's got some kind. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully, he's legal. Because I, I will get my dad him. deported. We will report his. ass. It would be so me. funny if because of Trump, my dad gets deported. I'm gonna report his ass, dude. Don't do it, dude. Don't report him. I wouldn't. Even, I won't say his name. Well, yeah, it's a scary time. You know, it's like in the first Care Bears movie when they call the cousins. Because yeah. they, we can all help. But did they win? Did they b beat Trump in the Care Bears? Uh, yeah. Hillary they, becomes the president cousins. in the Care Bears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just found out that woman Tulsi Gabbard on our Smart Politics uh, episode. Mm -hmm. That was like, yeah, she's gonna be the next president. She's a she's UN hot. ambassador. 
She's a. Yeah, um, or they were talking Nikki about. It. No, no, that's Nikki yeah. Haley. Yeah, well, she just got it, but they were talking about Tulsi. She met with Trump. She met with Trump. Yeah, yeah. she's what? also a fundamentalist Hindu. She like supports Prime Minister Modi in India, oh, like Modi's, killing Modi. Supported genocide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like killing like all the Muslims in India. Jesus yeah. Christ. She was like protesting against gay marriage, like what? real hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, it's a good thing you open so your stupid mouth. When about I say it. smart <laughs> shit, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, so you're wrong. For you're also wrong about, like, also, you're also also wrong about the fucking stock market, which nobody has apologized to me for yet. I never said that. He did on the election night. Everyone was like, "Oh, the fucking stock market." No, I said of- immediately on election night that they were going to be running hog wild and like making a ton of money until the next fucking collapse, and we have to bail them out again. And fucking no, five no, years. no. You, everyone was like, "Oh, the markets are collapsing." I was like, "It'll bounce back." No, and he's going to have a fucking political operative as chairman of the Fed. He's going to lower interest rates around election times and he's going to keep winning mm-hmm. and you know but that doesn't mean that we're going to have an overall healthy economy what do you think the next uh the next bubble is the next bubble yeah i mean like financial institutions are gonna it's it's gonna be the same thing like financial be. institutions are gonna get way too big and if any of them fail we're gonna have massive systemic failure and it's gonna tank the entire economy. Yeah, it probably won't be the finance industry that does it. It's probably gonna be the what market? What market is gonna, the is sex gonna doll. cause a bubble? Sex doll industry. Sex doll. Yeah. I think water. And now you think water is gonna do it? I think water is the like most important thing in the next hundred years. Yeah. Yep. We mean they're gonna like. We have more water though. The glaciers are melting. Yeah, no. Nope. See, look, these people they don't even think these <laughs> things through. Look at him. He's making up excuses now. We're going to melt the ice caps. Everybody's, we're going to import the melted ice caps all the way to Flint. I think I'm that. turning up the trans PP bill. The trans PP. Yeah. Trans PP bill lets trans people go to China for free to PP in the Coke's revenge. <laughs> Sounds good to me, but it costs a lot of people toilet making jobs. Oh, I'm in a, I, I went to a toilet factory in Flushing, Queens, where they invented the toilet. I met all these people. They love me. <laughs> I said, we're going to flush Hillary. So yeah. he's not locking her up now. No, no. he's not locking her up. You should go to r slash lock, uh, lock her up. It's pretty funny right now. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, That yeah. sounds great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're they're very upset. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They're like, he's not, he's not the FBI. He's just the fucking president, man. <laughs> he's like, he can't tell them not to lock her up. Yeah, they're pissed. Yeah. I love how much they want Hillary Clinton to be in jail. Oh no! Why, like, why do you? Be, I mean, look, Trump, Trump bitch, this but. week is like. First of all, I met I met Obama. He's really cool, guys. <laughs> yeah. First of all, he's really really. My cool. man, my man Kushner is just running shit. It looks like, who's got a hilarious name, Kush Kushner. <laughs> no one's got a better name than Mike Crapo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The the, uh, what is it? The uh, crap man. <laughs> Hey, Crapster. Where's he from? I'm with Crap. <laughs> I'm with Crap. God damn, if he ran for anything, he's fucking... <laughs> Who is that guy? Who's Mike Crapo? Cra- uh, he's uh, uh, wait, Idaho. Wait, hold on, hold on. He's you. <laughs> uh, man. He's a senator from Idaho or congressman or something? I don't know. Fuck. I don't is he really me? me? Yeah, he's you, dude. That's fucked up, dude. Whatever, dude. He'll be in a bathroom trying to fuck a guy. <laughs> that's why they want to keep trans people out of the bathroom. Because that's where they try like, to fuck I might guys. accidentally fuck a trans person. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to fuck a real man. I'm yeah. trying to have sex with a real man in the <laughs> bathroom <laughs> secretly. I've made that joke. I've made that joke. Yeah, well, yeah. I just made it now. Yeah. And nobody's heard you made that joke. I said it on stage. You oh. said, uh, uh, none of us witnessed that. <sighs> Sounds okay. like you're fucking lying again. Yeah. I'm not lying. When? Where? What show? Crooked uh, piece of shit. I did it at the... Uh, Hollywood Improv. I did it at the Hollywood Bowl. The Hollywood I did Bowl. It, the yeah, Hollywood. Well, I did it at fucking <clears throat> Carnegie Hall, dude. Really? At the Carnegie Deli in line. <laughs> Across the street from Is Carnegie that, Hall. Is that... They named the hall after the deli? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, for, it, was their, it was their first. God damn it. You learn a new thing about this city every freaking yeah. day. Well, and Andrew, that's what I love about it. Andrew Carnegie uh, actually took his name from the deli. He, he was, named himself after he was a the trans <laughs> woman that lived in the bathroom, and he he uh, when he chose he got rid of his dead name, he chose Andrew Carnegie. Wow! After the he deli. chose that his name from because he likes the sandwiches. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God, we should go to we should get a deli. We should Jessica get deli Espinoza. for lunch. You guys want to get deli for lunch? Not really. No. Let's go to cats. I want I want there to be something funny to happen in this episode. Oh, so yeah. I feel bad about it. Wait, there's funny That's stuff. What I want. No, you know what? It's my fault because I wore. Workout clothes. I got too comfortable. 
Yeah, your T levels yeah. are out of control, dude. You're wearing yeah, your I compressions, right? The pheromones. I'm too masculine right now. It's not. It's no time to be funny. You just want to fucking get yoked. Yeah, I want to snowboard. I want to fucking pull Sean White's bitch ass hair. <laughs> How dare he have that hair on my mountain? He, he doesn't have it anymore. He no, cut it. Not on my mountain. Not on my fucking mountain, yeah. dude. <laughs> not on my. This beach. is a soda drinking, crew cut wearing fucking mountain. Yeah. And if you. If you ponytail boys come up here again, <laughs> uh-huh. I'm gonna tie your balls to the fucking chairlift and put that shit on full blast and rip them off. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. And I fucked and up, he man. surfs too, dude. He surfs. Yeah, not on my <laughs> water mountain. No, no. <laughs> this beach, this beach, uh, locos only. Hey, locos only. <laughs> hey, everybody, do the shaka sign at him. <laughs> Listen, look at this fucking behe over here, man. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking boohoo behe. <laughs> Fucking behe. <laughs> this Hawaii, Hawaii voted for Trump, right? No, yeah. Hawaii is like Hawaii the most loves, liberal state in America. Hawaii loves Trump. <laughs> <laughs> they love him. They got do that they? spam. His haircut, motion, his haircut looks like the ocean. It is that true, is dude. true. They yeah. do like love the clouds, the, water. the wispy clouds yeah. Yeah. over the ocean. He's very tan. They love. Do they tanning. still have a king? They love having skin cancer. Yeah, they all do have skin. Didn't they used to have a king? They have a no. king. I feel like the, like the king, of, the king of Hawaii is the guy that like eats a 15-pound burger and gets his picture on the wall. <laughs> no, it's the guy from The Punch. It's uh, whoever the fattest Samoan, <laughs> some king of the buffet. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to challenge Mahalo ke oko. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's this, do a Hawaiian, let's do a Hawaii this episode. This man has drank so much coconut milk. <laughs> hey, this, this, this beach is locals only, bro. Yo, the um, they the, the king fat. is the guy from the punch, the punch guy. What we'll punch? Hawaiian punch. Oh, oh that guy. <sighs> yeah, you know, it's a really, hat. Yeah, I didn't know it was a hat. That's when crazy. I was a kid. I thought you it was thought antlers. it was part of his head. I it was yeah, hair. I thought it was antlers? some weird antler. No, it's thing. a hat. I it's it was weird hair. Yeah. Well, hat. they updated it. They made him. They got a new Hawaiian punch guy now. Who looks like he has cancer, by the way. Yeah, he does not look good. He Why is he so real pale? Male. Yeah, I thought it was some weird ginger, like the ginger in City of God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you're like, I understand he's actually from the favela, but do you understand how confusing this is going to yeah, be like to racist American audiences? Like Ron himself? Weasley. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Why the fuck Archie Andrews <laughs> is in, uh, in, uh, uh, you know. Yeah, he should be denying these people in welfare in an office area. Yeah, yeah. He shouldn't be in the slums. Um, Karen. Yeah. Fucking Carrot Top in Brazil. Yeah. Dude, that guy looks fucked up. I met him once. You met I, the guy? When? Oh, you, I saw oh, him at Costco. I think you, I think you what, met the guy, guy. Carrot Top. At Costco in Vegas? Yeah, yeah, he lives in Vegas. I would love to walk up to Carrot Top and be like, man, I just got to ask you, where did your name come from? <laughs> <laughs> and then just act completely blown away when you're like, it's because I have red hair. Like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I never realized that. Mr. Top, big fan. Dude, he was buying so many props. You want to know something autistic about me? My friend like quizzed me one time. He, like Sonic came up, Sonic uh, the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog, and like you know Tails. Sure. Mm-hmm. He's like, do you know Tails' full name? It's like, yeah, it's uh, Miles Miles Tails Prower. Which is what? his full name? His name is Miles Prower. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's true. I like happen to know that. And uh, he's like, yeah, it's miles per hour. And I was like, oh, uh, and I just, yeah, it's miles per hour. But I had just known it, like, known that it was miles per hour. And he was like, wait, you just remembered that as a name? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I didn't understand why that character, I never, like, thought about it. <laughs> right, yeah. right, right. I thought it was, yeah, it was just, like, a, <laughs> a weird deformed animal that has, like, a man's name for some reason. <laughs> like a black a tax squirrel. attorney's yeah. name. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like it's a, a law a office of Miles, Miles Prowl, Prowl. <laughs> Esquire. It We're sounds not like a personal right injury. Now. Please leave a message yeah. and we'll get back to you at our earliest convenience. <laughs> sounds like a like a South Central LA personal injury attorney. That's the, uh, basically an identical joke to what I just said. That adds nothing. That adds literally just adding nothing a location to, to what the fuck I just said. You're gonna take the joke and now I'm gonna make it mine by saying the exact same fucking thing you did. <laughs> Hey, you couldn't a, even go on with another middle class occupation. I bought a, I bought a TV the other day. That's a classic. Yeah, that's a classic Adam right there, yeah, my yeah. dude. I got a three three K. Uh, <laughs> shut up, bitch. Three K yeah. TV. Ah. <laughs> um, Tails, 
Tails was a, a, a small boy that Sonic fucked, right? Yeah, Sonic fucked Tails. Sonic yeah, fucked yeah, Tails. Yeah, yeah. I think who's that was like guy? a video who's the game red guy? thing. Like Donkey Kong used Knuckles. to fuck uh, Knuckles Diddy used Kong. What was Knuckles' thing? Did he fuck Sonic? No, he punched. He was a punch guy. He loved punching. But do you think he fucked Sonic? Was there a woman in this universe? Yeah, there's a girl. And I don't know if she's a She was yellow. Amy. Amy is the girl. And did Dr. Robotnik fuck anyone? No, Dr. Robotnik is a uh, asexual German. Was he German? Yeah. Oh. Well, maybe he's Russian or something. I always figured like he was the villainous Jew. You know what I mean? I always thought he was like a villainous Jew. <laughs> right? Didn't you? <laughs> One of the classic archetypes. Yeah. <laughs> I wish, just wish I could grow his facial hair. Like oh, just yeah, a yeah. giant orange triangles coming out from the sides of my face. Yeah, what is that? It's, it's just like a it, Chester B. Arthur. Yeah, kind of. they just to put no effort into draw animating <laughs> yeah. this shit. They make it because you know all of it stems from like when video games were like fucking eight bit. So right, right. Right. they the proportions fit into whatever they could make look like a distinct shape. Mm -hmm. You know, on that screen. So when True. it became a cartoon. And they just kept going with that blueprint. They were like, "What the fuck is? What is I guess like? that's just, just what this guy looks some like." Sort of yeah, yeah. Freaky, messed some up, some weird shit. oval. I want to remember what he looks like. Um, what's up with uh, Chris Chan these days? With who? Chris Chan. Who's Chris Chan? Uh, oh, you don't know who Sonichu is? No. I Christian do. Weston Chandler? No. Oh no. my god! How the know. fuck? Did, how, how have I not told what you? Is guys this like about a computer before? thing? No. It's it's the m most trolled individual in the history of the internet. Really? So it sounds like a computer yeah. thing. I, I mean, I don't even know if it would be worth it to go into it, because I'm sure everyone listening to this is, knows who Chris Chan is. I but, think probably a lot of people don't, uh, like me and stuff. Well, you're completely ignorant to what I'm talking about, so I don't even know what your frame of reference <laughs> is to say people do or don't know about it. I just I think we have a lot of listeners. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm sure a lot of them... Are. Anyhow, so about 10 years ago... Yeah, yeah. About 10 years ago, this guy, uh, this guy uh, got popular on the internet, uh -huh. on, like, mostly on 4chan. It was an autistic guy, like a 24-year-old autistic guy, lives uh -huh. with his parents for posting this video where he's like, it's wrong to be gay. Oh, Being gay yeah. is incorrect and you should always be straight, you know, or whatever. <laughs> but he's he's got around his neck this weird medallion made out of model magic that looks like a yellow Sonic. Hell yeah. And uh, people dig deeper and they find all these... Uh, Cartoons he he makes comics that he like looks like shitty. He has the artistic abilities of a fucking ten year old. <laughs> so he draws these comics called Sonichu, which is a character he created that's just Sonic combined with Pikachu. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, uh, and but he's a homophobe. Or, you know, he's weird. So you know, uh, people were like just sort of observing him. Uh, but th over the years, the trolls became more and more involved in his life and. He had all of these ongoing like dramas, and the, his mm -hmm. main things, at least ten years ago, were he was in search of a uh, a boyfriend-free uh, girlfriend, and he just he's a self-described <laughs> a boyfriend-free uh, sweetheart. That's what he would, oh, so he would like put yes. up. He would have a sign that he would write up. to be like, "I'm looking for a girlfriend," <laughs> and he would go sit on the community college campus. But then he had qualifies on there like uh, she has to be white. She cannot oh. be, you know, like just oh racist and stuff. Yes. Like, you're not allowed to be fat or whatever. Hell yeah. <laughs> right. He's yeah. this autistic guy. And like the dean of students, you know, kicked him off and he got into this feud with the dean or whatever. Yes. Uh -huh. And then he was constantly being banned from his local game stop. <laughs> oh my God. And so he had these feuds going with it, you know, and he would That's make these videos of like, of like, uh, uh, create a character and like soul caliber of him murdering the Dean. Yeah. He would like make the Dean, then make a character for himself and then have videos of him stabbing the Dean. <laughs> and then the police had to get involved <laughs> and like, you know, uh, and it just oh, got God. better and better That's and better. Awesome. So he, he had this quest to find a, uh, uh, he described himself as a, as noviophobic, which is some bizarre combination of Spanish and, and, and Latin right, right, or right. Greek, Greek, I guess. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, which means boyfriend free 
or boyfriend phobic, you know. Okay. And oh. so he became a he, he but he just stalks women. There you know, there's a oh. woman that worked at the mall that was nice to him and so he, he like unfortunately uh. she was nice to him, so he would just like wait outside the store and stare at her and she'd be like, Get out of here and he would like run away, you know, come back and stuff. Jesus Christ. So as he got more mm. and more attention online for his shitty comics, like people started trolling him and it was all these like twelve year old boys that would call him up because they sounded like girls. <laughs> And they would pretend to be girls <laughs> to troll this grown autistic man. <laughs> oh, and fuck. Like, Who did he know, live with? Parents? His parents, yeah. yeah. Obviously, yeah. And, you know, so then obviously his nudes got leaked and videos of yes. him fucking blow up dolls. Yes. And screaming like, oh, Julie, I love you, Julie. Oh, which is like the name of a, a 12-year-old boy <laughs> pretending. <laughs> and... Uh, and this was like all happening ten Hell years ago, and he's got so now he's years. trans. He's is been, he? He's been trans. He basically killed his own father. I think he what? set their house on fire. He Holy got them. Shit. He got them kicked out of their house because he uploaded. He's like a tour of our home, and the Department of like Health found the video, and their home is just in disarray and there's yeah. trash everywhere. What? So they got they got taken out of their home and. Uh, Imagine and, being this kid's yeah. parents. And, and a couple of years ago, he got arrested. We'll again. buy him a computer. It'll he be got, good for him. Yeah, he got arrested again at GameStop because he, he they changed. Get this. This is my one of my favorite recent Chris Chan things. Uh, uh, Sony changed the color of Sonic's arms from tan to blue. Yes. Oh. And he's like, that's not what Sonic's arms look like. Yes. And so he went into the GameStop. <laughs> And there's video of him doing it. He's just he's fully trans now. <laughs> so he's dressed like a woman, oh and he goes into the GameStop, God. and he's trying to uh, color in Sonic's arms with like a blue magic marker. Oh, yes. And the employees are like, what are you doing? And he starts macing the employees. Oh, yeah. what? Yeah. I love that it's like, how stupid you are that like Sony makes a change. Yeah. So you go to your local GameStop yeah. and decide that's what's going to change it. That's what's going to turn yeah. it around. You got to be the change you see. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, he's, he's so good. You know what? And, but he's from an older version of the internet that was much fucking meaner. And that's where like, you know, Brandon and all these fucking idiots are like, Oh, I love BB or whatever. It's yeah, like, no, it's like, you're exploiting him. Right. And at least older fucking generation of internet people had the courage to be mean to these people. Yeah. Positive. Like, yeah, positive you know, and pretend like, like you yeah. care about fucking BB, Brandon. <laughs> you're laughing at a retarded man. <laughs> fucking own it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, BB's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, BB. <laughs> Shut up. No, don't support Trump, BB. No. BB must be thrilled. Isn't BB a Trump supporter? Yeah, oh, a huge yeah, Trump. Sure. Oh, fuck, dude. Well, we got to find something to close on. I don't feel like recapping Sonic for people who already know about Chris Chan. It's really <laughs> worth it. Um, Jeez, what, are, what, are, uh, what else? I've had nothing. Man, I've been dealing with this legal bullshit all week. Yeah, I and I won. By the way, I can't go into details, folks. But uh, chalk one up good. for the little guy. Yeah, just looking good. Adam, have you fucked recently? Uh, actually, I haven't fucked. Really? Like, it a little bit. Yeah. How oh, it's a little bit? Uh, I it's uh, know. it's your dick. <laughs> Dude, shut the fuck up, Nick. Take that back. No. Dude, take that shit the fuck back. No. Dude. Take your dick back to the tiny dick store, dude. I lost the receipt, refund. so I can't even. I can only get store credit. No, but if they look up dick. your, if you paid for it with your debit card, they could look it up. I didn't. It was a cash transaction. You paid cash for your for tiny dick? dick. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's so off. stupid. <laughs> Fuck, now man. I tell you, these tiny dicks. A lot of people say that the girls don't like them, but they're wrong. I tell you, they're <laughs> absolutely wrong. The girls go crazy for these tiny dicks. It's true. They don't, well, they, the only thing they want is to have their clit played with, and that's the whole secret of the penis game. Now I'm telling you because you don't look like a sucker to me. You look like a, a straight shooter, and I respect you. And so what do you say? Right now, right here, let's do it together. Let's make a cash deal. <laughs> For this tiny little dick. I don't know, mister. <laughs> Just like do it. I'm telling dick. you, I'm looking at you now, and I can right. see that you want it. You for this amount it. of money, can I'm I get a sold. bigger I'm dick? I'm interested, but I'm not sold. You, I think I'm, you're going to have to sell me a little harder. Look, if you maybe you want to put it in the ass in the future. What we're doing is future-proofing here. Maybe okay. big dicks are in now, but I'm telling you, in five and a half years, <laughs> everybody's going to want a narrow two and a half inch. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know about look, what what <laughs> look what happened to the sedan market. Everyone was saying big cars. We're going to drive a big car. Oh, we want a big car. And then the Japanese came in with their tiny dicks, mm-hmm. and everyone wanted a tiny one. Yeah, that's oh, true. That's, that is true. He's I'm making telling good you, points. Look, listen to me very close here. Mm-hmm. You have to sign on the line. <laughs> Listen, I gotta talk to my wife before I Don't do that. (laughs) Don't talk to her, that fucking bitch. That bitch, she's a cunt. She just doesn't want me to make financial decisions. You can't listen to her for anything. Without her For any one of these women (laughs) driving a working man mad. She's what just kind of dick that, do you have, sir? I don't worry about what kind of dick I have. I, 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 I have whatever dick I need to have. This is about you. <laughs> This is about a deal I'm giving you here, Shelley. I'm telling you. Well, it's just she. We have a joint checking account, and she's going to see the charge. And I just, I, I just want to get her permission before I. Before I think I we've s- done enough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's really adding anything to it. Thanks for trying, Adam. Uh, what guess. about um, the insurance policy? <laughs> just get more and more mundane yeah. into the dick. Is there a warranty on that's the dick? That's really the only impression I can do is him. Oh, no, that's not true. Ones, Nick, dude. you're a good actor. We got... Um, do you guys know that, listeners, that Nick in, in secret is a good actor? He's going to be in a new I'm, movie. I'm actually method acting as a guy that's not actually racist. <laughs> For the podcast? For the podcast. Oh, I see. That's cool. Yeah. That's a fun uh, act. Out. No, that whole method acting thing. It sounds like bullshit to me. It yeah. is bullshit. You know, like, no, like no, like Val Kilmer's like. Uh, you know who the greatest act actor of all time is? Who? Uh, Jennifer Jack Aniston. Benny. Yeah, <laughs> I'm serious. Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston. Aniston. Jennifer Aniston. True. She says she goes. You just remember the lines. You just say the words. <laughs> that's it. You just yeah. That's all it is. That's really all the fucking. No, is. no, no. There's yeah, some yeah. people that are charismatic. And right. then they're just like that in their you know everyday lives, mm-hmm. but yeah, no acting is. Uh, well, no, you get you got to get get a haircut, and then you got to get a haircut. You get a right. haircut, and then you, well, the you, you, you put on the cool clothes, and, and then you say the words. You could see so there was an, an era of Friends where you could see so much nip, and it was tight. Yeah, what everyone was showing nip. Everyone was showing. Oh, it was like a bra free, like bra free era, era kind of nineties. Hell yeah, like, dude! We're feminists. You know what was crazy on that show is like, so Joey and Chandler have an apartment together, and then they like watch Baywatch because it was, Hot. it was network television. Yeah, so the I- implication there was that you know that was like TV code for Joey and Chandler would sit around watching porn, beating off. Well, together. no, there was there was an episode where they would watch they watched porn. What? So I think yeah, there's an episode where like you get porn. Uh, you get porn for free or whatever. So the uh, so the actual implication is that they literally were watching Baywatch and beating off together. I think. Well, maybe Which they is thought even it was a good stranger. Show. I think. Which yeah. is like watching Baywatch with your boys and beating off. That had to have been like one of the EPs was also collecting royalties on Baywatch, and they're like, <laughs> it has to be in the show. <laughs> you have to force people to watch Baywatch. I think it was like a nineties. Another thing culture. people don't realize that theme song was just written for the show. Yeah, it was. A lot of people think that that's a song that was just on the radio and then they used it for the show. Guys, then, really? I yeah. have Rembrandt's? an idea. Yeah. What about we don't have a theme song right now? We get the Rembrandts to do it. We get the Rembrandts, or we just use the Friends theme song. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. You want to use the Friends theme song now? Um, Jobs joke, you broke. Your love life's got HIV. There you go. Yeah, they're not really broke. Okay, I've never they had all had sex pretty good jobs. Your job lived in the Joe's West Village. Yeah. Yeah. But he never got. Did you call him Joe? <laughs> I mean, this is well. Joey's like a successful yeah, actor. I don't want to go into the bit about how Friends is unrealistic because they have a nice apartment. <laughs> Please don't do that. I'm just saying that the theme song is a lot of lies. Yeah, the theme song is a lie. I wish people fucked as much as people fucking sit. Also, where's that? That fountain's in Central Park, right? Thank uh, yeah, that's the Angels if of America you fountain. Did that in that fountain, you would be arrested. Yeah, you would be arrested. Unrealistic. And there weren't that many people around, man. Yeah. You tell me there wasn't anybody around. You just take your time. Here's my question: dance move. The Hulk gets mad. Mm-hmm. How does he? How does the short stay on? <laughs> that's what I want to know. <laughs> Who made Superman's costume? Oh shit! Where did he get that? So true. Where does that come from? He he probably could made it himself, right? 
How is he also just a, like a journalist? He's just also a successful <laughs> journalist, and that never comes up. Well, he, he somehow, went to school. Well, he was, uh, he's smart. He grew up in Kansas. He went to college. Father. But you never hear anything about his journalism career in the comics that I've never read or really paid attention to at all. <laughs> yeah, there's probably an actual explanation yeah, yeah. for that. You run it by Mike Lawrence. He's like, actually, there's a, there's a whole uh, 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 side story. Yeah, it's he probably a, read the comics It's a 700 comic series <laughs> that's just Superman's articles. Yeah. <laughs> About, <laughs> about municipal legislation in yeah. fucking Gotham City or whatever. Yeah. He just went he exposed. He's fucking sitting there turning the page. It's just a drawing of a newspaper <laughs> that's like, the city council met today to discuss the new bus terminal at the end of Maribeth Avenue. <laughs> this is good stuff. It's him trying to get fucking student loans, <laughs> student loan yeah, yeah. paperwork uh, uh, in order. All right. Well, none of this was funny, but, you know, we, had, Look, we did an extra long episode. This was How long was it? This is hour, 10 minutes. So, Woo! Uh, 10 free minutes. Oh, hold yeah, on, hold okay. on. Let's plug the show. We got a show Monday. on Monday. Uh, at, uh, this Monday uh, at Come On Everybody. Uh, oh, fuck, I forgot to ask Sam. But Liza Traeger's on it. Liza and, uh, Traeger. Jordan Temple. And Lisa. Jordan Temple. Saying her name. Lisa. Lisa. Why did yeah. I say Liza? Lisa Traeger. She's an actual friend of mine, and I know how her name yeah, is. And it's not Traeger. It's wrong. Traeger. It's Traeger. Lisa. Lisa Traeger. Well, Lisa's on it. And Lisa's she's on it, and she's hilarious, and Jordan Temple's on it. He's very funny too, and then Sam. Uh, Mike. Oh yeah, I saw him. I forgot to ask him, but yeah, yeah. Um, the double. Anyway, yeah, come to the show. It's gonna be good. That's it. All right, you finished? Yeah, yes, we're bitch, done. Right? Fucking finished. Turn this off now, or yeah, do you turn it off. Just turn the fuck off. Just right. shut, shut the fuck up, up, bitch. No, you know. <laughs> Why <laughs> keep this? I'm turn the fucking, fucking thing off. I'll turn it off when turn I'm ready off, to turn bitch. it off. I'm hungry. Turn it off. I want to go to the Katz's and lock her sandwich. up. Where yeah. that lady We're not had a going fake to orgasm. Katz's, I've been to Katz's. It's not. I want to sit in the We're fake orgasm chair and eat a sandwich. We already talked I wanna about I want to go fucking bake pies. We already talked oh, about the Katz's deli thing. About oh. the fake orgasm. I don't know. Sorry. Remember that? We probably did, yeah. We did we? We definitely did. Because I got a bit about that. You do have a bit. It's like a You know what a podcast is for? It's for all the shit that you know wouldn't work at open mic. Yeah, that's what we're doing with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, I got a TV. Shut up. Just press the fucking button. Let's go make pies. Don't fucking... It's, do it, bitch. All right. Uh, <laughs> Just end the... No, hold on. Here's what I'm going to do. I can turn your mic off. Now I get the it's final... Gay. No, now I get the final word. It's gay. My mic turned off, too. Uh, yeah, I turned both oh, of your Nick. mics off. So that's been the episode, guys. Thanks for listening. It's not going to pick up. Nick